Scientists are looking for new sources of helium and have recently discovered an enormous supply on the surface of the moon, which, if used correctly, could create an enormous amount of clean energy for our world. Let me explain. Hydrogen and helium are what make up our sun, which generates a process called nuclear fusion, which powers our sun, our world, and my dancing solar-powered flower. <laughs> As professor of American politics, Larry J. Sabato explains, because Democrats are going to resist as much as they can over repealing the Affordable Care Act, it's going to tie up Congress for months. This means they can't focus on tax reform, immigration, or any other policy, because they can't get floor time to actually do it. This ensures that the situation doesn't change and Republicans can't achieve unity. So when considering the future of the Venezuelan economy, it's necessary to ask, what can be done to alleviate Venezuela's economic crisis? The answer is that the Maduro government needs to make meaningful economic reform. First, by emboldening private corporations. Second, by paying back foreign creditors. And finally, by operating or initiating agricultural subsidies. We can only hope that the Venezuelan government truly does make reform, perhaps not only to the economic status of the country, but democracy as well. I love Bollywood. <laughs> Every film a blend of brilliant colors and infectious music. But the best part is the story. Poor boy falls for a rich girl, dance sequence, and Jai Ho! <laughs> You've got yourself a slumdog millionaire. The U.S. military prides itself on being the most powerful military organization in the world. And part of the logic behind this is that bigger is better, and that having a bigger military budget means that you can have a bigger and better military. And there would be clear reasoning behind this. The U.S.'s military budget is greater than that, than the top 10 remaining military budgets combined. While you may expect that that kind of money would buy us fancy technology like that Iron Man suit, even the technologies that we have aren't even working. I've listened to many speakers before and they all seem to have the same message. Stop and smell the roses. I'm here today to tell you not to do that. It's too dangerous. I had a teacher once, his name was Mr. Andrews, and he was always telling me to stop and smell the roses once in a while. So one day I decided, you know what, let me just give this a try. So I walked up to this beautiful garden filled with red roses, leaned down, stick my nose in one, and proceed to get stung by a bee. Who was the first rock star? Elvis, Chuck Berry, Little Richard. You can stop silently guessing in your mind now. 
I'll tell you. It was Franz Liszt, the 19th century Hungarian composer and virtuoso pianist. Sure, he was born almost 150 years before the rock and roll era, but he set the tone for the stage styling of every teen idol, smooth crooner, guitar guru, and master rapper <laughs> to follow. Sure, he never appeared on the cover of Rolling Stone, but his influence certainly deserves a behind-the-music experience. And that's what you're going to get for the next few minutes. I turn to art. I mean, you just stand there and pull a bow. How hard can it possibly be? Well, unfortunately for me, there are kids my age who are shooting straight 10 rings from 70 meters away. And for me to go to competition, frankly, it's embarrassing because instead of hitting the 10 ring, I'm hitting the 10 ring on the other target. <laughs> so this leads me to the quotes, I can accept failure. Everyone fails at something. But I can't accept not trying. <laughs>